Okay, so let's extract these other attributes. So this one will extract the density. So again, we can say density. Oh, and by the way, maybe I can also show you the issue that there might be if we don't, if we use the sparse volume. Not sure if it's going to show up yet, but uh, let's say if we make this a sparse volume. Oh yeah, you can already see what's going on. So, okay. So, or you can clearly see that it's not, like if we don't have these, this dense grid, I'm really lacking a lot of the details because this will just go out uh, some of the stuff. And maybe we do want to call out stuff, but we kind of want more control. So that's why we're just going to say dense grid. Then we have control over here and we also have some control over here. So you can see if we do the curling ourselves with this thing here, which we could maybe give a slider. And uh, call this uh, curling something. Maybe we can have our own control, but now we have more control over what this is going to do. And again, this just looks better with the dense grid. Okay, so anyway, let's, let's continue. Uh, so density, so we want to extract other stuff. So what, what do we want to do? Well, we want to also extract heat. Heat. And let's extract temperature. All right. So we've extracted all of those things. And now we are left with a whole bunch of points over here and a whole bunch of points over here and a whole bunch of points over here. Now you might say, okay, whatever, we can just merge this stuff together. And I mean, that is gonna work. I mean, we have a whole bunch of extra points. It is, it is gonna work. But now I'm stuck with a whole bunch of overlapping points. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. What we could in, instead do is say attribute copy. So what attribute copy does is it will look at the point number of each point. Again, each point has a point number. And it's going to look at the input of the second point. And as long as the points match, and it can, so as the point numbers match, and it can copy over this attribute from the second input. And these have the same amount of points because we are doing it from the same input. So we can just put it like that. What do we want to copy? We want to copy heat. Do another one. Temperature. Uh, now we have all of our values. So we go in here temperature, heat, density. So we have all of our values and we don't have the whole bunch of points that we had before. This still works. So uh, let's just disable this one for now. Uh, oh, hello, what do I, oh, yeah, All right. So now we need to do is include these things into our, um, into our volume bob. And again, I know that I, I didn't include velocity yet because we're going to do that a little bit later. But let's just do heat and temperature for now. All right, so let's do another. Let's just copy and paste our point cloud filter. Instead, say that this one should be heat. And this one should be temperature. OK, so now we we're sort of have a problem. Because if we go in here, this only has one volume. So we cannot bind this. Like if, if I type bind export, I don't think this will work. So I cannot say that I want to this to be heat. You cannot really bind this to heat because there's no uh, there's no heat volume. So I cannot really export it. So what I need to do is I need I need to make a heat volume. 
So, because as, as I explained before, um, if you look in here, this is just separate volumes containing separate information, and these are just primitives. So each primitive has information in it. Okay, so basically what I can just do is just rename whatever I have here, because this is just empty, right? It doesn't really have anything in it. So what I can do is type name, plug it in. What do I want to rename? I want to rename density, and I want to name it heat. Let's go in here. Now you can see our volume is now called heat. Put it in there. Uh, let's go name heat. There we go. Okay. And just copy and paste it again and rename another one temperature. And then what we can just do is we can merge these together. Bloop. And boop. Name temp. Let's move these to the side a little bit. Right, like that. So now we can see we have density, heat, and temperature. So now we have these three volumes. Now we can go in here and temperature, heat, and so we can actually bind them to whatever they're called now, temperature. Good. So now we can actually do this. So this is uh, filtering out the attribute heat from these points, because remember, these points here have this attribute. So if I go in here, change the spreadsheet, temperature, heat. So these voxels are just looking around for whatever can we find. So can we find heat? Yes. Can we find temperature? Yes. Okay. And then what we probably want to do is now let's, uh, so now we wrote that, wrote that out. And let's see, this is still match, yeah. So that's now, so this looks kind of weird. So we're when you can, and you can still see the density in there. So this is just now visualizing um, also the temperature and the heat as density, which is don't not what we want. So let's create a visualizer again, volume visualization. Let's append it. Let's visualize density. So now you can see density is back. Then go to emission. Let's use heat and use temperature. Let's turn this up and use black body. Uh, oh wait, I think this one also needed to be heat. All right. Now we have re re we have rebuilt our volume. So let's see how it looks. If we type the switch between the original one and the rebuilt one. No, no, that's weak. Take switch. Okay. So it's the original one. So this is the rebuild one, original one. So we could probably, like if we want to match this, probably need to sort of tweak our settings a little bit. So probably, Move this down. And so it. Doesn't match exactly, but I mean. Overall, it looks I mean, pretty good. So again, like this is our original thing. So it is our original sim. Now we've rebuilt it based on our points. Let me filter out some stuff and see. Oh, what I think I did, by the way, to get the best result is that I went to into the PyroSim again and I copy, copied the division size. And I go in here and I'm going to Place relative reference is the surge radius SD division size. And it should match up for the most part. You can see it's still not perfect, but let's maybe increase to two points. It's matching up pretty decently. Let's go to one. Uh, 
close enough. So again, what we also could do is we could also do this inside of this thing. So we could also just say that let's put it in there. We also say that we want to temperature heat. Put a functionalization. I mean, two different ways of doing it. Again, our voxel resolution does match better with the original one. Um, but yeah, and again, like right now, you don't really see that much of a difference. I guess now that we have this working, before we do the velocity, let's do a, a little bit of a higher resolution sim uh, and then see if we can actually see the differences. Because right now it's very hard to tell, I mean, what's going on because we're so low resolution. So I'm going to really crank up the resolution of the sim. So I'm going to put it, I guess, to one because we had the, we were already working on two. So I guess I'm going to put this to 0.28 or something. So I'm going to run this simulation and then let's see what's going to come out once that's done. <laughs> 